Compliments of the season guys. Welcome to December. December is one of my best months in the year. Trust me, I believe you're going to get a lot of good news in this December, which I've got one now to share with you. Uh, this was published on the 2nd of December, which I believe that more good news will be coming after this one. So the UK government have just released a new policy. <music> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Fadura. If you're joining me for the very first time, for my returning subscribers, I want to say thank you guys for always sharing my videos, for always coming back to watch my videos. I really do appreciate it. If you're new to my channel, on this channel, I create content on how you can migrate to the UK. Jobs with visa sponsorship to the UK. I would say I share jobs almost every day with visa sponsorship from overseas to the UK. And studies in the UK, scholarships in the UK, everything you can think about the UK. So if you're someone who is interested, do stick around and hit on the subscribe button, turn on the notification. So each time I upload a new video, you're going to be the very first person to see that video. So guys, let's quickly dive right into today's video. So in today's video, I've got a very good news for you. Remember, we've been back and forward about the uk government bringing so many things talking about student dependents they don't want dependents to come to the uk it's been a lot going on in the uk but at the same time i would say this is a very good news because i remember 10 years ago when i came to the uk to study when you hear about skilled worker visa like it's very very hard for a student to just finish and get a skilled worker visa to be honest except you get a Post study work visa which the post study work visa ended in my time like i didn't even get it people that came in january got it i knew how bad i felt but to be honest being in the uk all this way i have seen that the uk have relaxed a lot of things that were quite difficult in the past that's because the uk is no more with eu and they have made it easier for people to come study and stay in the uk without going through stress like we went through few years ago so if you notice i've been uploading a lot of information immigration update government different policies and so on but they have finally come up with something good that i think will benefit a lot of people who are looking at coming to the uk this january and also those who are already in the uk before when you're in the uk you have to finish your study before you can get a job that will sponsor your visa which is the skilled worker visa and if you're not able to get that you will have to go through the post study work visa but in the new update the uk government has made it in a way that you don't really need to finish your studies yeah you don't need to finish your studies i know a lot of people have asked me these questions oh if i do, if i get to the uk how many months do i have to study before i can right now you don't really need to finish your study you can now apply for a job while you're studying a job that will sponsor your visa which i think is a very good news so in the past you would have to finish your study or maybe towards the end of your study before you can start applying for jobs with visa sponsorship or you go through the post-study work visa but right now the uk government has made it in a way that you don't have to wait that long i'm just going to read that for me i'm really excited about this particular uh, update which international students studying in the uk universities now eligible for skilled worker visa wow this is a good news to be honest like you're no more restricted to work 20 hours because once you're able to get a skilled worker visa you can work for more hours the process whereby international students study in united kingdom universities are expected to have at least a degree level qualification before applying for a job now since obsolete as a home office has approved for interested students to secure a job offer from an employer and apply to switch from the student route visa to the skilled worker visa immediately without any need to complete their degree this is a great news i know like when i was a student even up until now you cannot work more than 20 hours in a week except you're working in nhs right now with this new policy once you get to the uk and and you're able to secure a job in a government licensed company you are free to switch to skilled worker visa which allows you to work full-time and more than 20 hours a week if you're working as a full-time employee in the uk you work for at least a minimum of 37.5 hours a week and above but with this particular opportunity you can even work more than 37.5 hours per week which i think is a good news if you're still looking at moving to the uk this is a good opportunity for you to move to the uk as soon as possible recently few of my subscribers that moved to the uk they found it very very difficult for them to get a job they came in as students and 
every organization they went to even if they wanted to employ them they said oh that we can't employ you because you are only allowed to work for 20 hours a week but with this new policy guys get back to the organization i'm sure that from this new update they are also aware of what to do this is when to start uh, looking out for jobs that can sponsor your visa if you're a student currently in the uk or you are still in overseas you're planning to come to the uk for study so this is when to start looking out for companies that can sponsor your visa or if you have been to any organization before and they told you that they can't employ you because you can only work for 20 hours go back to them you can now work as much as you want provided they can sponsor your visa so this is when to start looking out for jobs that can sponsor your visa i'm going to leave the list to this license sponsored companies in the description box below which you can use to also search for companies that are willing to sponsor your visa so the good thing about this new policy is that if you are supposed to spend like up to uh, seven eight years for you to get your indefinite leave to remain you're sure of five six years for you to get your indefinite leave to remain so what happens is that once you come to the uk as a student you're able to get a job that can sponsor your visa on a skilled worker visa so if you work in the organization for up to five years you are not eligible to apply for your indefinite leave to remain then after 12 months you cannot apply for your british citizenship which i think everyone has been looking forward to that i'm going to go to the eligibility requirements for skilled worker visa so if you're here as a student or you're planning to come as a student what you can do is once you get here you have to look for a job which i'm going to be sharing with you so eligibility requirement for skilled worker visa you might be able to apply to change to a skilled worker visa if you are already in the uk on a different type of visa so right now if you're currently in the uk as a student you don't need to submit your dissertation before you apply for a job that can sponsor your visa you don't need to complete all your courses your models before you apply for a job that can sponsor your visa once you're able to apply for a job that can sponsor your visa and you're able to get the job offer you can now switch to skilled worker visa which is going to be a shorter route for you to get your indefinite leave to remain so the next uh, uh, requirement you must be able to speak read write and understand english which the ielts or the neric and etis will do that for you then you will need to be paid at least £25,600 per year or £10.10 10 per hour. Whichever is higher, there are different salary rules if you work in some healthcare jobs, which are the going rate is based on national pay skills. If you get a job in a care organization where they pay um, £20,418 per annum, you're eligible to apply for a skilled worker visa. Or if the rate is £10.10, 10, you're still eligible to apply for a skilled worker visa visa or if you get any other job that will pay you a higher rate which is 25,600 pounds with an organization that are licensed to sponsor your visa you are eligible to apply for a skilled worker visa as a student now in the uk so the visa is only valid as long as one remains in the same role with your sponsoring employer so provided you're working in the organization and let's say you've worked for the organization for five years and they have sponsored you for five years your next visa will be indefinitely left to remain then after 12 months you can apply for your british citizenship and even if you have worked in different organizations say if one wishes to change rules or employer one will need to apply for a new skilled worker visa so for instance within the five years you have worked in different five organizations say company a for one year company b for one year company c for one year company d for one year and company e for one year that is five right if you have worked in five different organizations within those five years on a skilled worker visa which is a tier two worker visa you are still eligible to apply for your indefinite leave to remain the thing about skilled worker visa once you move to another organization the new organization or the new company you've gotten a job with we need to give you their certificate of sponsorship for you to apply for a new visa so if you keep moving within these five years to different organizations you will need to apply for the skilled worker visa with each company you move to so like i said irrespective of how many companies you have worked provided you you have been on this visa for five years even if it's different organization it still leads to your indefinite leave to remain or if you have been with just one organization which is very straightforward it still leads to your indefinite leave to remain then after 12 months you can now apply for your british citizenship which i think is a very good news and a very good opportunity for 
the students currently in the UK and for those who are planning to come to the UK in 2023 and I will always say that if you're looking at coming to the UK in 2023 I used to tell people I cancel that the easiest route is coming as a student with this new development this wasn't there before it will further make things very easy for you coming to the UK as a student you know when you start the project and you know when you finish the project for instance you're sending your application to schools you get your admission, you pay some part of your tuition fee, you get your cash, you go for your visa. Like it's a process that you're sure of each phase of the process. But if you're coming into the UK as a skilled worker, like I used to say, there is no start time and there is no finish time. The only time you can know the start time and the finish time is when you go for your visa application, which means that you must have applied for the job, gone for interview, gotten the job offer, waited for your certificate of sponsorship, you know, like the process there, you're not sure of how fast or how soon you will finish. But with the school process, you're sure of if you're starting this process in January, by September, you'll be in the UK. So I'm not saying you should come as a student, but to be honest, like I think it's still the easiest route. With this recent development, you won't really struggle because you can get to the UK, work and pay off the tuition fee instead of going to school. Because a lot of universities have been complaining that people just come in and they abandon the school and go and work. And they don't even come back to pay their tuition fee, leaving the school in debt. So with this new development, the government understand that even if you're working, you can be able to pay your remaining tuition fee, which is, for me, I think is ideal. So if you're applying for a skilled worker visa, you need to wait for at least 11 weeks for you to get a decision. But however, you can do the priority service, which you pay extra for you to get a decision within five working days. But from what it says on this, uh, Article, it says the Home Office has advised that you have to wait for at least a minimum of 11 weeks for you to get a decision on your skilled worker visa. So guys, I hope you find this um, video helpful. And if you do, do give it a thumbs up. Also share with your loved ones. I'm sure it's going to help somebody. And also subscribe if you're yet to subscribe to join our beautiful family. So guys, thank you very much for watching. And until I see you in my next video, do take care and have a lovely day. Bye-bye for now.